is your first Alert 5 weather with Alan Rose. And Rob, in these difficult times of staying at home, self-isolation and social distancing, it's nice to kind of stop and be reflective. That's exactly what we're looking at here in this photo. Taken recently on a trip up to Lake George in Park County, this is actually a puddle taken by June Bloom's photographer, uh, Megan, and just a beautiful sight here. It almost looks prettier in the reflection of the water than the actual scenery. And another great shot from the North Cheyenne Canyon area, a recent hike taken by Larry Marr. Just a beautiful shot out there. If you have a chance to get outside and practice safe social distancing, the weather forecast today was warm. It was a great day to do it, and it's going to be just as warm for your day on Tuesday. Look at the highs across the state. Once again, 50s and 60s in the mountains, 70s and 80s across the I-25 corridor, out east into the plains. Burlington, the warm spot at 84. The springs not too shabby for early, or early April with a high here at 74 degrees. Red flag warnings back into effect tomorrow at noon, so we are tracking high fire danger, but the good news here is that they're not as expansive as what we saw today. Tomorrow, out towards Fremont County, the San Luis Valley, and down across southern stretches of the I-25 corridor, these spots will be warm, dry, and windy. Tonight, because of these lingering westerly breezes, I mentioned at 5 and 6 that it would take some time to cool down. That's exactly what's happening. It's after 10 o'clock, and we're still in the upper 50s out of the Colorado Springs Airport. Hardly need a jacket if you're stepping outside Pueblo 56 humidity hasn't recovered that much, but at least back into the teens earlier today was down as low as 5% Woodland Park 45 degrees outside your front door with a west wind at 8 miles per hour. Here's the upper level pattern in the jet stream area of low pressure still lingering off the coast of California. We're so far east of it that we stay warm and dry over Colorado on Tuesday, but eventually this unsettled weather We'll make a beeline towards the Centennial State as we make our way towards the end of the week. So tomorrow, again, another day where it's going to be bright, dry, and breezy. Temperatures will warm up quickly once the sun comes out. And we're talking about another day with daytime highs, a good 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of the year. The kids want to get outside and maybe uh, spend a little time playing or studying during the work day or the school day. We'll see temperatures into the 60s and 70s for the afternoon hours. Now let's look to the end of the week, starting at Wednesday at 5 o'clock, still going to be dry. So Wednesday gets a little bit cooler as we see a cold front move through. Heading into Thursday, this is when that energy starts to move in out of California and the Four Corners region. Gone by Friday, except with some lingering snow up across the mountains. And then beyond that, the weekend, another system could be stronger, moves in maybe Saturday night to Sunday. So enjoy the quieter weather here at the beginning of the seven day forecast. Things definitely take a turn for a more active weather pattern later in the extended. Tonight's lows down to the 30s and 40s. Here's your highs on Tuesday, 80 degrees for Pueblo, close to that across the Eastern Plains, 74 in the Springs and 60 in Woodland Park. And here's a look at the next seven days. My extended forecast in the Springs dropping the storm impact scale to one as the models are showing a little bit of a weaker storm on Thursday. Still think we'll get some precipitation before we dry out on Friday, but maybe not as much as previously thought. Pueblo going from 80 degrees down to the 50s on Thursday, back up a bit Friday and Saturday with more rain to snow coming in late this upcoming weekend. For Canyon City, we'll be in the 70s on Tuesday, Wednesday down to 73, 50 degrees on Thursday, high on Friday at 60 with unsettled conditions, some thunderstorms for the weekend. Woodland Park will see temperatures here around 60 degrees on Tuesday, 57 on Wednesday, down to the 40s on Thursday. To look at your first alert five forecast, let's now 